Everything Wealthy Always. This is your host, Judean Lewis. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching today. Look, today's show is about me living wealthy, but me living healthy, including in my living wealthy. So for most people, they might not have recognized that I have lost some weight. And um, you'll see it in the video a little bit forward as we go along, I reveal myself a little bit more. Since I went to Ghana, my weight loss started before that. And um, I kind of yo-yoed, uh, I dropped off for a little bit. I moved, had a transition moving from uh, Georgia to Florida. And ooh, moving is such a, a hectic thing. Anyway, long story short, I did kind of put some of the weight back on, but then I went to Guyana and I started the weight loss process. I was still going with it, but I started it really at the level that I really felt that I should be doing it. And from April to now, meaning I'm losing the weight and I'm not using it like drop, you know, even though now I've sped it up a little bit more because now I've started taking a B12 shot and stuff like that. But you'll see that in the video. So, um, but thank you so much. I think I've said too much already. And um, let's begin with the show. Just showing you uh, my progress of my weight loss and the journey that I'm going through. Uh, so let's take a look at that. Woo. So as you guys can see, I've lost a tremendous amount of weight. And when I say that, compared to where I was before, I've lost 20 pounds. Now 20 pounds seems like it's not a lot of weight, but 20 pounds makes a difference for me at least and for most people in terms of whether or not you have high blood pressure or diabetes. I never really had it, but once I had, once the weight was heavier, I found that there's times when I had to keep taking herbal treatments and stuff like that to keep it down. Now today, I don't have to do any of that in order to keep it down. I am so happy. So I'm going to the doctor. I want to show you guys my visit to the doctor. I'm taking a B12 shot as well as I've changed my diet and I've changed the foods that I eat. And now I'm on a healthy road to use losing the weight. So all right, guys. I will see you later. I'm going ahead and take my run again. Hi, I'm Dr. Will Aguila. I provide medical weight loss to our patients. We give them the best care and we want them to do well. That's why we have Weight Success Centers. The name says it all. My mom is about to get her shot, her B12 shot with amino acids, and I can't pronounce the other thing. So, wasn't bad, was it? I'm brave. But it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. But it hurts. She's much better than Tia. Oh, really? Uh, oh, really? Uh, really? Okay. It's a party in here. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you good? How yeah, do you I'm feel? Good. Oh, great. 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 Okay, I'm about to go in to get my massage and um, enjoy the rest of my day. Face down and you okay, just, so yeah, just, uh-huh. Okay. And this feels so good. Whoo, nice and relaxed after a day at the gym or just relaxation for you, period and something to treat yourself because if we can get a massage on a regular basis, especially when we're doing weight loss, it helps to move the blood around, rejuvenate the cells, and it helps your body to start releasing toxins even faster. So this is great for you when you're losing weight. So in my losing weight therapy, this is part of it, getting a massage. So I'm getting a facial massage and as you can see, the face that she's pulling, the face back, pulling the chin back, and those things. Because when we are losing weight, um, your skin starts to get soggy, especially if you're lose, losing the weight rapidly. And so my advice is for anyone, regardless if you're losing it rapidly or just lo using, losing it, <laughs> I'm so relaxed I can't even speak, but if you're just losing it um, on a regular basis, which meaning maybe a pound a week or something like that, um, you still need to do facial massage and do body massages because it helps to snap the skin and keep the skin firm as well as the circulation and releasing toxins from the blood and helping to release um, toxins from the body. And I am out of my massage now, makeup on, and I am ready to hit the road. 
on, so let's see where we're going next. I, the next time you see me, I'll be exercising, but I want to show you something because I know somebody asked me this. Somebody said to me, when you do your videos, is it several days? Sometimes it's several days, but most of the time it's the same day. But depending on what I'm doing, I actually change my wig. So yes, I'm a wig wearer, as of most people know. I'm getting ready to exercise. This is my exercise wig. So... <laughs> Just so you guys know, when you see me exercising today, I because my wigs, I wear them according to whatever it is that I'm doing. And um, so, especially for, for wigs, it, uh, something like this is too long to exercise in, so I put on a short wig. So when you see me in exercise, yes, I am exercising today, but it's just that I changed my wig. Lord, I'm about to do my lifting, so let me go ahead and do that. Um. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 I wanna fly, baby, fly with you. Yeah. Hey, don't hang book on you, not hang book care. Noon dinner, not to mind, and I make him got here. No push your head, I Now we hang on my guitar. A little night, Hanukkah, I'll give up, she knows she talked to her. Bobby Jam and Jai Jani Nankaku. Hyanshiri, Miki, Ji, Anna, Jam and Sokke. Musa, Marin, Ji, I, Ji. I got them to go to what Ji. Don't you know, Ji, I, Ji, Oni, Ji, 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 Okay, well, I'm in the supermarket and part of it is getting my groceries. So I'll show you some of the things that I'm using to help me lose my weight. And this is just a guideline. So you can use anything that you feel comfortable with. Good, at least there's certain foods we should stay away from. And part of them, obviously, is sugars. I don't care even if you're drinking tea, whatever it is you're drinking, don't put sugar in there. Put maybe honey or maple syrup. This is real honey and real maple syrup is what you would put in there rather than putting sugar. So sugar is one of the no-nos. Rice, if you take rice, take very little bit. Very high carbs such as regular potatoes and those sort of things you probably shouldn't be taking as well. So guys, let's just go ahead and see one of the things that I do and some of the foods that I'm using now to lose weight. So greens, green colors, and these are all things that I use. So um, apples and my favorite again that I've come to like now is actually the grapefruit. And I'm gonna tell you, this I take every morning. And the reason that I do it every morning is because um, when I, I started gaining the weight, even though I never had a high blood pressure problem before, I noticed that some days, based on what I was eating, my pressure would go up. And so now that I've started losing the weight, part of my major thing is a grapefruit every morning. Now, this is for people that are more overweight because if you have high blood pressure, this will help lower the blood pressure. But if you don't, be careful because this can drop your blood pressure too low. Okay. And of course, spinach. I love spinach. Um, adding spinach, adding tomatoes, those sort of things to your diet on a regular basis, meaning that you cook with them as part of your food. And if you can eat them as raw as you possibly could, that's the best thing to do. So some of my major things is limes. I use limes. So I get limes. And I use mangoes as well, but I try not to use as much mangoes because mangoes can be very fattening. Believe it or not, I love ripe plantains. I mean, this, this is my favorite right here. But you actually have to stay away from this because especially fried, that's not good for you. So I do do bananas. I do get bananas. I also get papayas. That's one of my favorites. I started eating this in Guyana. I never used to eat it in the uh, States. I started eating it there. Now I actually still do use meat and I use meat very lightly as well as chicken. It's something again that I also do eat in my diet. I don't eat pork. I've taken away pork. I never used to eat pork before, but I also do salmon. 
and um, those types of things. Some things it's healthy. Of course, when you're trying to lose weight, one of the things is stay away from liquor and alcohol. So not putting these people away, not saying anything bad about them. But liquor and alcohol generally adds fat to your waist. It has yeast in there. And so this consumption is not good. So my advice is to stay on the outside of the supermarket when you go on because it's designed to capture you with the junk food in the middle. And when I tell you truly, I've resolved myself from eating junk food. I still do snack a little now and then, but I've not made it a major source like I used to before. Before I used to eat junk food every day. It's afternoon time and people are just enjoying the beach. They just come up, park their cars, and they're just hanging out at the beach. Okay guys, so it's it's me just having a rela relaxing, lounging afternoon on the ocean. And I am relaxed. Oh! What a beautiful way to end off the afternoon after all of my exercise and everything else. This is a beautiful way. Alright guys, bye-bye from Living Wealthy Always. And that's it for the show! And that's it for now, folks. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next show. Remember, living wealthy always is a mindset. Bye-bye.